In this video, we learn how to solve quadratic equations like the ones we see here using the difference of two squares formula. Now, in a previous video, we had seen that any expression that could be written a squared minus b squared can be written in factored form as a plus b times a minus b. And throughout this video, I'll be referring to this formula as the difference of two squares formula. Now, let's see how this can be used to solve the first equation we have here. We need to solve x squared minus 9 equals to 0. And the trick is to make sure that the left-hand side of this equation is written as a difference of two squares. And using the fact that 9 can be thought of as 3 squared, we can rewrite this as x squared minus 3 squared. And of course, that's equal to 0. Now that we've done this, we can compare this left-hand side to a squared minus b squared and use the right-hand side of this formula to write the left-hand side of this equation in factored form. And in doing so, this becomes x plus 3 times x minus 3 equals to 0. Now, on the left-hand side, we have two pairs of parentheses that are being multiplied, and the result, or the product, is equal to 0. And the only way that can happen is if either x plus 3 equals to 0, or if x minus 3 equals to 0. And solving each of these two equations leads to x equals to negative 3 and to x equals to 3. And these two values of x are the solutions to this quadratic equation. And so we can write solutions, solutions, x equals to negative 3 and x equals to 3. And we're done. Let's look at the next example. We need to solve x squared minus 5 equals to 0. Now, this is slightly trickier than the first example because 5 isn't a nice square number. But the trick here is to use the fact that 5 is equal to the square root of 5 squared. Using this fact, we can rewrite this equation as x squared minus the square root of 5 squared. And of course, that's equal to 0. Now that we've written the left-hand side as the difference of two squares, we can use our formula here to write this in factored form. And that leads to x plus the square root of 5 times x minus the square root of 5. And that's equal to 0. Once again, on the left-hand side, we have two pairs of parentheses that are being multiplied, and the result, or product, is equal to 0. The only way that's possible is if either x plus the square root of 5 equals to 0, or if x minus the square root of 5 equals to 0. Now, solving each of these two equations leads to x equals to negative root 5 and x equals to positive square root of 5, or just root 5. And these two values of x are the solutions to this quadratic equation. And I'll go ahead and write solutions, solutions, x equals to negative root 5 and x equals to root 5. Done. I move on to the third and final example. We need to solve 3x squared minus 12 equals 0. Now, unlike in the first two examples, in this case we have a 3 multiplying x squared. And when that happens, what I like to do is place the number multiplying the x squared as a factor to the entire left-hand side. Here's what I mean. I rewrite this as 3 times, in parentheses, x squared minus 4 equals to 0. And now that I've done that, I can concentrate on the quadratic that's inside this pair of parentheses. We have x squared minus 4. And since 4 is equal to 2 squared, we can rewrite this as the difference of 2 squares. Indeed, we can write this as 3 times, in parentheses, x squared minus 2 squared. And that's equal to 0. Now, comparing x squared minus 2 squared to a squared minus b squared, we can use our formula to write this quadratic in factored form. And that leads us to 3 times, in parentheses, x plus 2, times, in parentheses, x minus 2. And that's equal to 0. Now, on the left-hand side, we have three things that are being multiplied. Indeed, we have the number 3, which is multiplying x plus 2, which in turn is multiplying x minus 2. And the result, or product, is 0. And the only way that's possible is if one of the three things that are being multiplied on the left-hand side equals 0. Clearly, 3 can't be equal to 0, but for x plus 2 to be equal to 0, we would have x equals to negative 2. Or we could have x minus 2 equal to 0. 
and that would lead to x equals to 2. And so those are the two solutions to this quadratic equation. And I'll write solutions x equals to negative 2 and x equals to 2. And we're done. And so that's how we can use the difference of two squares for solving quadratic equations like the ones we see here. And that's it for this tutorial.